Good afternoon folks. I was making breakfast this morning and I was trying to decide what to do with my eggshells from my breakfast when I had the idea for this video. And I understand the common thought press process on eggshells and adding them to your garden, but I think it's a mistake to add your eggshells into your garden to provide nutrient to your plants. And I want to explain to you why. Uh, first off, a lot of your plants in your garden are going to need calcium, like these tomatoes over here. When they really get to going, these tomato, tomatoes are heavy calcium feeders and you're going to need to provide a source of calcium to your plants. I also agree that the eggshell has calcium in it and that's where my agreement with everybody with what everybody's doing stops what a lot of people don't understand is a plant in order to take advantage of a nutrient it has to have that nutrient in an inorganic state in water soluble for it to be able to take the nutrients up through its roots to get it to the plant to provide the nutritional needs. Now, a eggshell is in an organic state. So, for that plant to be able to use that eggshell, you have to put the eggshell in the soil, and that eggshell is going to have to break down. So it's going to have to decompose, it's going to have to, whatever you want to call it, transform from an organic state into an inorganic state. We don't know how much moisture that ground is going to see. We don't know how many microbes are in your soil. We don't know how many worms you have. So it's going to be a, a guess at how long it's going to take to convert that eggshell to the inorganic state where it becomes water soluble and the plants in your garden can utilize it. And during that process, while we're waiting for it to be converted to a state that the plant can use, your plant is not getting the nutrients that it really needs. If a tomato needs calcium, it's going to need it pretty early, and it's going to need it throughout its growth cycle. If your calcium from your eggshell does not become usable to the plant until a month before your growing season ends, you're going to have hidden hunger in that plant. It will not have produced as much as it could and calcium is one of those that all the plants have got to have. Now if you put it in each year, and I understand the thought process on this too, if you put it in each year then you will build up calcium in your soil and it will be available to the plant the following year when you're gardening. Okay and again this is my opinion. Please don't please don't get upset with me. It's my opinion, I admit it. But if that conversion to an inorganic state doesn't occur until after the growing cycle is over, that means that calcium is going to sit in your soil, in your garden, all through your winter and over into your spring. And during the course of the winter, you're going to get rain, you're going to get snow, you're going to just the normal erosion, you're going to lose that calcium. So by the time the next year rolls around, you don't know how much of that calcium is actually available in your garden and to your plant. And typically for most folks, when they garden, each year they come in and they till the ground and start anew. If you do that, what calcium is left is going to get redistributed throughout the garden and it may not be there for again my tomatoes I give them extra calcium may not be there for the tomatoes the next year you may have moved it somewhere else the amount that is actually left the second year of your garden may not meet the requirements for those plants so by putting an eggshell in there first off you're not going to see immediate results it's going to take it a while to break down 
to an inorganic state where it becomes water soluble and is available to the plant. So it's not going to be available immediately and it's not going to do you any good immediately. The point at which it does become available, we don't know. And we don't know for sure how much calcium we're actually giving to those plants in that eggshell. So the way I see it, you're putting an eggshell in there in a quantity which is unknown. You don't know how long it's going to take to convert it to a usable state that is available to the plant. And you don't know if there's going to be any left on the second year to provide that plant with all the nutrients that it actually needs. So, what to do with those eggshells? Well, I don't compost. I don't use any compost in my garden and that's actually going to be a topic for another video in the future. If you do compost, add your eggshells there. Now, what do I do? I provide a measured amount of calcium in the form of lime to all of my plants. The crops like my tomatoes here that are heavy calcium feeders I can give them an extra dose as necessary or uh, whenever I think they're going to be ready for them. When my tomatoes start setting a whole lot of fruit I pick the first few ripe tomatoes off of it I'm giving it another shot of calcium. It's been growing a lot, it's setting a lot of fruit, it's going to need that calcium. So I don't put any eggshells in my garden. I don't like all of the unknowns. I don't like the fact that when I put it in the garden, it is not available immediately to the plant. And I don't know when or in what quantities it will be available to the, to the garden. So if you're serious about gardening, if you want to see serious results, I think that you need to find another place to put your eggshells. Now I do have another video where I showed you how to inexpensively mix the pre-plant that I use, and the pre-plant that I use is my source of calcium for the garden. And I will put a little i-card up there for you in the corner so that you can see that process. and try this in your own garden. All right, I need to pay attention and get the rest of these seeds in here. I'm going to cut it off for the day as always. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all the folks that are viewing these videos. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave the comment down below or you can find me in the Mitlider Gardening Facebook group on Facebook.